What's going on you guys? So this pump that I have right here is a freeze mop pump. It was pulled out of the system because it stopped working. As you can see, it still has some of the gunk from the fluid in there. Now I have a hunch that it might be because of the fluid that we were using and also because in the case, it was actually in this horizontal configuration. So maybe the fluid, maybe the pump wasn't fully submerged in the fluid and that's why it seized up. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it apart, uh, see if we can fix it, maybe clean it out, see if we can get it working. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so before we open up the pump, clean out all this gunk and see what's wrong with it, I wanna first go ahead and fill it up with water and run it with this power supply. Just in case maybe when we pulled it out of the system and let it sit, it might just start working again, you never know. Let's go ahead and build a small loop and fill this up with some water and see if we can get it started with this power supply. So for anyone that's into water cooling, I definitely recommend this. This is a 24 pin short that goes onto a power supply. So for example, there's two tiny pins right in there that actually short the power to start the power supply. It makes it easier for me to run this Molex connector pump right over here. This Molex connector pump right from the power supply. So the way it works is I have my 24 pin cable for my power supply and instead of connecting this to a motherboard and then running a PC where failures can happen, a leak can happen and we can potentially have a short, this lets me test out water cooling hardware outside of the system without connecting it to a motherboard. So all I have to do is connect this 24 pin short to the 24 pin cable like this, just like that. And now your power supply is shorted and when I plug it in, it should start. The fan started and the power supply started. Let's go ahead and fill the loop up. Now that the pump has been filled up, let's go ahead and run the power supply and turn it on. So let's see if the pump is actually working. As soon as I plug in the power supply, it should start pumping. All right, so the power supply is on and the pump is connected and I'm not hearing anything. I'm not seeing the pump blade, turbine blade move. And it seems that the pump is not working. So let's go ahead and drain the loop, open up the pump and see what's wrong with it. Maybe it just needs to be cleaned out. All right, so to take this pump apart, you should really be doing this over a sink, but for now, I'm just gonna show you guys on video. Go ahead and unscrew the reservoir straight from the pump. Then you're gonna go ahead and use an Allen key to unscrew these four bolts on the bottom of the pump. So it will come apart just like this. You have the bottom piece that's held on by this sticker and the four bolts, so you're gonna pull that off, put it to the side. You're gonna go ahead and pull off this metal shroud, just like this. And here is the actual pump, the motor for the pump. And here is a little distro plate that screws, uh, that the reservoir can screw onto. We're just gonna keep this on the side. And as you can see, the pump from this from what we can see now is actually pretty clean. It doesn't seem like it's seized up at all. This is actually the blade of the pump that's supposed to turn and move the fluid around. And as I'm turning, it's actually very tough to turn. I'm actually using a lot of strength here to actually get it moving. It should be a lot smoother than this. So let's go ahead and pull this off. Pull this off, all you have to do is, is grab it and push it out. Just like that. So once you push it out, you're actually gonna see the blade come out. This is actually a magnet right here that goes around the motor. Make sure not to get any water on this end. But this is actually supposed to 
churn quite freely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run this under some warm water right over here. And for this, we can go ahead and clean it out with a little bit of liquid, but we gotta be careful not to get any fluid on this side. Now that the pump has been cleaned out of all the gunk, we can go ahead and reassemble it. So you're just gonna pop it back in there. And it, it moves more freely now, so it should start working. So let's go ahead and reassemble it, go ahead and fill up the loop, plug in the power supply, and see if the pump works. ahead and wash out the reservoir all right let's go ahead and plug in the pump and see if cleaning out the pump actually worked and this thing gets a, starts working and there we go you guys the pump is pumping it's working um, it has a nice flow rate. I don't really see anything leaking out. All right guys, so as you can see, the pump is working. All it needed was a little bit of cleanup. So we went ahead and disassembled the full pump. As you guys saw, we went ahead and cleaned out the stator inside of the motor. We made sure not to get any water on the bottom side of the pump because that's where all the electronics were. But yeah, it just needed a little bit of cleaning. I think the problem was in the state that it was in uh, in the previous machine where it stopped working, the pump wasn't vertical like this, it was actually horizontal. So it wasn't fully submerged and therefore caused it to seize. Another indication uh, that I have is the coolant that we were using was a very pastel texture like coolant. So that could have also aided in seizing the pump and caused it to stop working. But as soon as we pulled off the stator, we cleaned the pump out, we cleaned the turbine, uh, rinsed it on some, under some warm water, it started to work again, as you guys can see. So I don't presume this pump having any other problems for a considerable long amount of time. Uh, I'm gonna make sure to keep these type of freeze mod pumps vertical so there's no more issues. So as long as they're vertical, I don't think there should be a problem. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Leave a like if you guys like this type of content. Make sure to subscribe to see more water cooling content. And leave us a comment below on other type of content that you guys would like to see. Anyways, thanks again for tuning in and peace out.